Today I'm going to show you how silly the globe earth theory is using two points of reference, the horizon and of course the globe mathematics. Bear with me. And first we'll come here to Felix's high altitude jump for Red Bull several years back. Two things to pay particular attention to. Top left, his altitude, 127,520 feet above sea level. And of course, two, the horizon, the very obviously flat and very high up horizon that appears to be sort of, well, at camera height here, 127,000 feet. Impossible on a globe. And I'm gonna give you a new way of looking at this that just highlights how daft this picture is on a globe, okay? Bear with me. Now what I've done, distance to the horizon calculator, I put in Felix's observation height, i.e. the height of the balloon. And I've got a figure to the horizon, which is 438.2 miles. So we've got the figure to the horizon now from Felix's viewpoint or height, I should say, okay? Now with my figure of 438.2 miles, I've now gone to the Earth Curve Calculator, where I've put that in as the target distance, i.e. the horizon being 438.2 miles away from Felix. You'll notice I've put in I height zero. I want to know how much the ground, according to the globe maths, curves downwards away from Felix, based on two points of reference. One, below Felix, the ground below Felix, and two, the horizon Felix is seeing, 430 to 38 miles away. I want to know, according to the globe mathematics, how much that horizon is supposedly curving from the ground below Felix to the horizon. I want to know. So we calculate. And we get a ridiculous figure of 127,661 feet of curve between the ground below Felix and, of course, the horizon Felix is, supposed, uh, Felix is looking at. Bear with me. And now we come to this side profile showing how ridiculous this is on a globe. The two points of reference at the moment are Felix, 127,520 foot up in the air, and me, below Felix, on the ground, okay, 127,520 feet below Felix. Of course, the horizon that Felix is seeing was 438 miles away, according to the globe maths. Now, I'll start from the ground up. I'm below Felix, and that horizon, which is 438 miles away from Felix, for me being on the ground, the horizon that Felix is seeing is apparently 127,661 feet below me while I'm stood on the ground. Think about that. I am on the ground below Felix. And according to the globe mass, the horizon Felix is seeing should be 127,000 feet below me, and I'm on the ground 127,000 feet below Felix. Think about how ridiculous that is. Of course, when we go there, it's obviously ridiculous. You'd never see that horizon there. Particularly given the fact that Globe Maths says when I'm at ground level, that horizon Felix is seeing should be 127,000 feet below me obviously 430 odd miles away. Clearly ridiculous, considering Felix can see it, right there. And what does the globe math tell us? That that horizon should be in relation to Felix's position or altitude. Well, according to the globe math, that horizon which Felix is seeing should be 255,181 feet below Felix or the camera's eye level. Look, look how ridiculous that is when you compare that horizon of a world record jump using the globe mathematics and of course two points of reference and the horizon. It's ridiculous. Felix is up there 127,000 feet above me. I'm on the ground. The horizon Felix is seeing, according to the globe maths, should be over 127,000 feet below me and I'm on the ground. And yet Felix is seeing it right there. <laughs> you couldn't make it more obvious if you tried with this space jump. All you need to do is apply the globe maths, the horizon, and of course, it just makes a mockery of itself. Like I say, 
I'm on the ground and according to the globe maps the horizon Felix is seeing there is apparently 127,000 feet below me and I'm on the ground yet strangely enough Felix is seeing it right there when according to the globe maps it should be over 250,000 feet below camera level can you see how ridiculous this globe nonsense is dear oh dear